Today, uh, today we're doing a fitment on a Mercedes EQE 500 sedan. Uh, the 350, 500 are the same. There's the EQE on there. And then there's the front of the car. And it's going to go lower amount there, lower center. Okay, first thing we're going to do is remove that center screw. It's got an 8 millimeter head. So we're going to get our 8 millimeter socket and remove that. Then you're going to grab your base plate, your 4.2 by 35, and your quarter inch spacer. Make sure you put the 4.2 by 35 through the bottom of the base plate and then the spacer goes on top of the of the, the base there and then there's 3M tape that we're going to use to keep it from rotating. The 3M tape is not to hold it on at all. It's just to keep it from, from turning. Okay, so normally we would remove the 3M tape, but because we're just doing it for demonstration, we're going to leave it on, but you would remove the 3M tape, and then you would start your bracket into the hole, and then keep it away from, you know, just let it hang loose. Start it, get it started in there. Grab your 7 millimeter socket, and you're going to tighten it up just a little bit. And remember, now we're not going to adhere it yet. It's going to still be off the car. Then we're going to take the front plate. We're going to take the front plate and we're going to set it in. And again, we haven't done anything. And we're going to make sure before we stick the tape that we line it. You can have somebody help you if you want, but you want to make sure that the plate is, you know, centered and equal distance on both sides. And once you confirm that, then you can just hold that in place and then now start tightening up the screw. And then as you start to snug it, you know, now you can you can check it as you're going and just make sure that it's still, you know, that it's nice and straight and where you want it because you can still make an adjustment at this point. Uh, once you're happy with it, it looks, it looks good, looks like it's aligned properly, then now you can go ahead and continue to tighten this screw. And you, as you can see, it'll tighten pretty good. And there you go, now it's nice and solid. And then... Uh, Normally, at the end, we would show you how to put it on, where you normally, this is what it would look like with the plate off. Pull the pull pin, start your plate in, and then just slide it till it locks into place. We're going to now show you how to mount the license plate to the front bracket. You're going to take your plate, take the screw, put it through the plate, then line it up on the bracket, like so. Put the nylon lock nut on it. Now the nylon lock nut will have a nylon ring and then no ring, so the ring goes to the outside. So when you put it on, make sure the ring goes to the outside. And then you just repeat for the other three screws. And then take your 10 millimeter socket or wrench, if you have just a wrench, Phillips screwdriver just tighten them up. There we go, last one. Again, these don't have to be super tight because the nylon lock uh, ring in there is going to keep it from rattling off. So there you go. That should, should look like when you're all done.